Well, hi there, folks. We are back and we are finally at the 49th annual Back to the 50s Car Show at the State Fairgrounds in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm here with my father-in-law, Tim. Say hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. I grew a beard. It's been so long and since we've talked, I've come out from underneath the rock because the Woody's done. It is done. I'm so happy and it's just great to be out driving it now. So we're excited to bring you here to the Back to the 50s Car Shows. It's quite an event. I think one of the largest car shows, boy, in the Midwest for sure. For sure. 10 to 13,000 cars. Seems, seems busier this year than maybe other years. If you haven't ever been to the Back to the 50s Car Show, probably worth making a trip up to Minnesota and uh, seeing this. I just talked to the people this morning from New York that they drove all the way here and uh, just enjoying the, the show uh, immensely and they enjoyed seeing the car. Well, it's been a little bit since we've uh, showed you the Woody. Uh, you know, Christy and her family came up in September and got to go for a ride in it, but you've been busy through the winter and uh, have made the final adjustments exactly. and uh, touches to the car and she's ready to show. It is, it's ready to show. It's uh, fun to get everything done. We've got the all the final uh, painting and touch up done. We got the uh, floor mats in. Got, and the big thing, we got the side curtains on so we can actually go, go cruising uh, in weather that's a little cooler than, than the summer day like it is. Today. Well, it's, uh, it's it, believe it or not, it's 90 degrees in Minnesota today. It does actually warm up here. Uh, we don't need the side curtains today, do we? Not today. Not All right. Today. Well, hang out with us here. We're going to go show you for the car and maybe uh, we could drive around a little bit and wave at people too, we'll huh? Definitely do that. They'll love it. All right. fun is when you're at back to the 50s and family comes by yes it's my cousin mark how you doing mark yep and thomas what's up thomas how's it going my second cousin right <laughs> yeah and your dad uh mike had his motor and his model a done by the same guy we did i think was uh, it was it the yeah guy? yeah yep. we'll yeah so we got to go over down. and check your dad's model a it's yep. out here i mean here. he's just right blocked down so all right yeah we'll go check it out yeah good to see you guys yeah. Wow. Definitely. I like John just kind of like backed off. My other cousin's over there. He's a car guy, but he just like walked away when we started filming. Hi, John. You can't have a car here that's newer than 64 and a half, right? 64, no Mustangs. No yep. Mustangs. 64 and older, yep. Okay. Yep. No offense to Mustangs. We like Mustangs. That's the rule. I didn't come up with the rule. I but wish they did Back to the Mustangs, 50s, no, yeah, no, no, nothing 64 yep. or newer. And there's plenty of custom stuff here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very true. Yeah. Yep. Well, we'll go check your dad's Model A out here in a second. Cool. Is that Uncle Mike? Uh, you know. I no, there, it's not. There I'm he is. An imposter. I'm actually not even real. I'm Night. artificial intelligence. You got your hi. How are you? <laughs> no intelligence. Good to see you. Artificial. Your car looks great. It does look good. You have okay. Dave Gerald do your motor too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, awesome. Works great. That's awesome. quiet. Amazing. You wanted the team. Well, we made it. We did. We're at Back to the 50s. I love it. And we've got... Hey, a finished car. A finished car. Yeah. It really good. Really turned out good. I'm so happy. So last time we talked with our audience here, right. Christy and her friends came up to the cabin and yeah. we got to take them for a drive, take them to the dairy as we promised. That was so fun. Yeah. But we were missing the hood and a couple of things were missing. Yeah. Would you mind just showing us around with what you've done? And Absolutely. it looks like it's starting to rain here a little well, bit in the car show. It's not that serious, really. So maybe yeah. I'll uh, get you put in the side curtains. <laughs> well, we can do that too. Yeah. You want to do it now? Yeah, let's uh, let's let's do that. Okay, why don't yep. we do that? So take us through a little bit. What did you What have you been up to here? Well, you know, I think the first thing we did is we got the hood all set up and ready to go, and when we got uh, got done with that riding, and then uh, we followed up with a lot of other things. Uh, we we put the put the roof on. That's one of the major things we did. We put a white canvas down first, and then we put the uh, the, the, the black 
uh, vinyl down, and uh, then we put the strips, the rain, the rain gutters, and there's a front strip and a back strip that goes on as well, and uh, made a nice tight, tight roof here, really. So that's all squared away now. But the other thing we needed to do is we needed to put the final coat. We needed to sand the doors and do the final coat so that we had that all uh, sealed up nicely. And uh, so that's all ready. But then we also had to, to do some painting. Uh, I had to paint the, uh, the nuts and bolts all around to be the vanilla brown color as well. So that's all finished up as well. So other than that, then we put in the floor mats. Uh, we got floor mats for the back and floor mats for the front. So those are all squared away as well. So, so those are some of the major things we did and it worked out great. When you have a car project, you often have a few bugs that you need to work out at the end. So I need to adjust the brakes. I had to change a couple things there and uh, just make final adjustments on everything, really, as you, as you get into using the car. So it all came together and it's working great now. Now you've been driving it just a little bit. I think we have about 400 and some miles on it since the restoration was complete, right? Yes, we Tell did. us what we got to do last week and actually we have some photos and videos of that. Exactly. Well, uh, it was my 75th birthday, so I, I wanted to do something special. The family wanted to do something special for the birthday, so I said, well, why don't we go to Door County, which is my home area, which is in the northeast corner of uh, Wisconsin, up above Green Bay. And so we brought the Woody, and, and all our family was able to come except for two members, and we were able to scout around Door County and have a really good time. One of the really special things we did is we took the Woody out to Washington Island. So we loaded the Woody onto the ferry, got out to the island, drove it off. We drove all around the island to all the tourist spots there. Had such a good time with that. And uh, we got back on and rode back. Uh, then we, we toured around Door County, the northern end with all the little roads. We went to Wilson's restaurant. We went to the tower in the Peninsula State Park and uh, went, to, went to Fish Creek. And we just had a really good time just driving it around the county, my home area. It was just incredibly fun. Well, we were filming. Well, we were. Got it. Got a little rained out, but I'm sure glad we have the side curtains. They work great. Snapped right together, and it's beautiful. We're staying nice and dry inside the car. No problem. Uh, tell me a little bit about what the inside here. We put new floor mats in, so those are all ready to go. They're in great shape. And we put seat belts in too. Don't want to forget that part. So we got six seat belts in the car. We normally we carry six people, even though it's an eight passenger. But uh, at least we got six seat belts and the ones can share in the back if they need to. So that works out great. So, and in the back is a seat. Hi, Momsy. Hi. Anyway, uh, we also put the mat in the back, which you can't see now because the seats are all covered with uh, all our stuff by the rain. But it goes all the way from the front of the seat all the way to the back. And those are all snapped in place. And then we also put the thresholds in. There's a metal piece of threshold at each door. And then a seal that goes on the bottom of the door as well keep up any keep up any uh, uh, dust and dirt that might come up in that car so I think this rain's gonna be done in a second I think it's a little yeah. well we weathered the storm we did it was <laughs> quite a rain I didn't I couldn't imagine it was gonna rain that much but we stayed dry we did and, and grateful really nice. for the side oh, curtains so glad we got it when we did and we're nothing covered. like we'll be able to park it in the garage and get it dry it'll off. be it'll dry be it'll be fine we'll yeah. wipe it down we're good we're good well enjoy the rain <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, this has been quite a journey has been. And I know there's been quite a few people following along and so oh, thank so you guys nice. for uh, watching as we've taken this car from McAllen, Texas in uh, September of 2020 to where it's at now in almost three years. Uh, are we ready to do another project? You know, got a couple things lined up but not for me, for others. I would like to help other people work on their old cars and just bless them with maybe being able to get on the road. Yeah, it's yeah. just a fun thing to be able to be involved with people. I love being involved with people and just helping people with what, what yeah. they can. So yeah. yeah, it's great. Well, thank you guys for watching and for following along. And um, as always, if, if you uh, have interest in this or you know somebody in your life that might, definitely share the video with them. There's a whole series. If you go to the channel's main page and go to uh, the playlist, we created a playlist for the Woody restoration from start to finish. and. Um, now we're done, so I guess now we have nothing else to do but then to just enjoy the car. Why don't we just to enjoy the car? And, yeah. And hopefully we'll get some nice sunny days this summer to be able to get out and enjoy it. You know, one of the great things about this uh, project is just being able to create memories for our family, friends, taking another couple or two, going for a ride in the car, enjoying some ice cream, just creating family times. And what I like to call these cars is smile machines. Machines that make people enjoy the simple things, maybe some plain things in life that can really be beneficial. I think that's why God gave us 
interests and things so he can just enjoy his creation. Yeah. You know, and it's just a, a great thing. So it's just one of those things. I think it's a, totally a God thing, you know, that we yeah. can have this car and do yeah. this fun project. Amen together. to that. Yeah. yeah. So. And, you know, people ask us how fast it goes. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, it's not real fast. Not real fast. But we, we measure things in not miles an hour, but miles an hour. I like it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. But if yeah. you go back to the miles idea, we do like to travel between 35 and 40 so you can hear the, the hum of the engine and you can actually have a chance to see the scenery around and enjoy that view outside that's just there in front of us. We have to appreciate it every yeah. day. Yeah. 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 Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next project. All right.